This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you a hidden feature in Final Cut that can improve media handling. Now that we've got a sense of where stuff is, I want to talk about configuration. First thing I want to configure is to select the library, go to the inspector, and notice that the inspector gives me settings that I can change for that particular library. Here's a cool tip. See where it says Library Properties? That name changes depending upon what you have selected. Double-click it, and the library goes full height. Double-click it again, and the library shrinks back down. Right up here at the top, see this Storage Locations? When you click Modify Settings, this allows you to determine where do you want media to be stored when you import it into the library. By default, the media is copied from wherever it is and is stored in the library. See that choice right there? Motion content. Apple Motion is used for creating effects inside Final Cut. Leaving it in the Motion Templates folder is perfectly fine unless you plan on sending the library to another editor in which case having your motion template stored in the library means that anything custom that you create, the other editor will get. I leave this to motion templates almost all the time. Caches are work files that Final Cut needs to create in order to edit. 99% of the time, just leave this in the library and don't worry about it. But backups need to be stored somewhere differently than your libraries. Normally, my library is stored to an external drive, this backup is stored to my Movies folder, which is fine. Here, I want to create a different location to store media. I'm going to go Choose. I'm going to go to a server. I'm going to create a new folder called My Project Media. Now, you can name this anything. And you can store it anywhere as long as it's fast and big. This, has, this is where your media goes. It's got to be your biggest drive. It's got to be your fastest drive. I'm going to create that and click Choose. Notice that now it says my media is going to be stored inside the My Project Media folder. Could be in the library, which is fine. It's safe. Not going to get erased. Could be left and linked outside Final Cut. Also fine. But I want to show you how this one works. And we change it by clicking Modify Settings. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 285. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.